This is the Tutti Bambini Cozy and it is the co-sleeping crib that I have used for both my boys. My oldest boy who is now two and a half and my youngest who is six months old and has just moved out of this crib into his own room. As well as using this as a co-sleeping crib we have also used it on its own like you see it here as a travel cot and I am going to show you today the different ways that you can configure this crib to suit you as well as reviewing some of the pros and cons before you decide if you would like to buy one for yourself. So as you can see here, this is the crib set up on its own, not co-sleeping. And that's because it has this side panel that's up. This side panel easily zips down and I will show you that now and you can attach it to the side of your bed. I've unzipped the sides here and then to lift it off, you just push these little buttons at either side and it slides off here and then folds down. This is what the interior of the crib looks like. It does come with a mattress. It's a foam mattress and it's quite thick and nice and comfy for little ones. Newborn babies shouldn't have too thick a mattress anyway. And then this is the interior. This material here is really, really soft and it zips off very easily so that you can throw it in the wash. The other side here is waterproof. One of the features that I really love about this crib is the fact that you can set it at different levels. So not only can you set it at different levels according to your bed height, but you can also set it at an angle, which is brilliant if you have a baby that suffers with colic or reflux, because often sleeping on an angle really helps with that. So you can see here that it's got a little number there that's one to show that it's on the lowest setting and then you just squeeze this button here and lift it so you can see now that the crib is angled I've set this one up to four and this end to one but it really depends on how high you want it to be for your own baby as well as having a really great sleeping compartment above that fits babies easily until they're six months old I would actually say that they would fit until they're probably about nine months old it's also got this really handy tray underneath now this tray is is actually essential because it keeps the legs from collapsing in on itself and you'll see that in a minute when I show you how to assemble and disassemble it. But this tray is so useful to have spare nappies on, spare covers, spare sleeping bag and anything you need for the night. I'm going to show you now how easy it is to disassemble this Tutti Bambini Cozy. It's so quick and simple to do. I could really use a change of scenery. Yeah. Everybody's smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down me but I'm still fly I'm still fly I know I'm still fly I'm still fly let's go it could all be worse I could be a hater like you and here it is, disassembled and ready to pack away in the carry bag that it comes with. It's not very heavy as well and very compact. You can actually take the mattress out if you want to to make it compact even further, but we often just leave it like this for transporting. Now, if you do want to have the cozy attached to your bed, then obviously you will need these side parts folding down. And then this part just pushes up to the edge of your bed. The thing that I don't particularly like about this crib and something that I didn't realize when we bought it is that there is a bit of a lip in between the mattress you can see my arms resting on the mattress here and this part of the crib I do wish that it was flush to the mattress I'm not sure whether this part here is some kind of safety barrier so that your baby can't roll and get trapped potentially between this mattress and your own bed mattress but it is just a little bit of a pain because you can't quite slide your baby in and out of bed when you're trying to feed in the middle of the night. If you do want to attach it to your bed, of course, you will have to make sure that you attach these safety straps. So these just clip on and they're really easy because they're color coded. So black to black and red to red. The black clips on here. And then this strap passes all the way around your bed, under your mattress, so over your bed slats and then back through again and then this red end once it's passed through your bed will clip back onto the red end here and then this will be round your bed and keep the crib nice and secure stop it from tipping over or moving and these straps are adjustable as well one of the other downsides of this crib that I have found are the adjustments on the side although brilliant for adjusting the crib so that it's on an angle are a bit loose and sometimes when you click it up to a certain level if you push too hard on the top of the bed here it can 
collapse back down which is very annoying especially if you have a sleeping baby in there. I managed to get mine so that it was set and wouldn't move but it did take a few tries to get it working. All in all this is a fantastic crib. I really love it and I would definitely recommend it to other parents. There are a few little problems as I mentioned in this video but to me they don't outweigh the overall benefits of the crib. The fact that it's a really good price comparatively to a lot of cribs on the market and it looks so nice. I think it comes in other colorways as well as this option. One of the reasons that I chose this when we were looking at cribs and we looked at quite a few different co-sleeping cribs was how sturdy it was. It does wobble a tiny bit when you push it but really not very much compared to some of the others that we found when we had a go at rocking them they really really moved a lot which is obviously not what you want for your baby when they're sleeping in their bed. So if you are trying to decide upon which bed to get your baby I do hope that this has helped you. If you would like to find out more about the best buys that you should get for your baby that will not be on your list yet then click onto this video here. For lots more baby content I do hope that you decide to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you did like it. I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye bye.